Hey guys, my name is Sean and this is my commute home from work and this is about a 20 mile commute and this is a Friday afternoon in the middle of COVID-19 and so traffic is pretty light. There's not a lot of people on the road. This is probably the lightest traffic I've seen in a long time, but I'll, I'll kind of take you through my commute on the way home with full self-driving enable and lane confirmation turned off. This means I do have to wiggle the steering wheel uh, to give it a confirmation, but I don't have to uh, hit the lever on the left side to give it that confirmation. And so if you see the blue wheel on the screen, that means um, navigate on aut autopilot is on and it's kind of do its thing. On this trip, it was pretty successful. I didn't have any disengagement the whole time. So I'm just going to speed through the parts where it's just staying in its lane and then I'll slow down where it's actually changing lanes. So this part here, it looks like it's uh, moving me to the left lane and it's going to go down maybe another mile or two and then continue moving me to an uh, even left lane. I don't know if Tesla can tell that traffic is starting to slow down up front, so it's starting to move me into a fast lane or not. But if you do know, just uh, leave a comment below. So in this part here, Tesla wants me to move left and I gave the confirmation to move left, but then a car to the left of me was coming up and so it actually didn't change lane, it waited for that car to go. Um, it showed the red car and then once uh, it was clear, then it changed me over. So at this point, um, we're about two miles out before I need to merge into another freeway. Tesla is starting to move me over to the right lanes just so I can be prepared. And from my experience, usually it's within that two to a mile and a half where it starts to move you over. Uh, sometimes it'll move you over all the way to the right lane uh, early, and sometimes it'll do it really late, like half a mile before you move over to the right lane. In, in this case, it did it did it in the right amount of time or how I would have done it if I was driving. I think a lot of people think ab about the $7,000 cost and what Navigate on Autopilot or full self-driving can do today. And this is the one thing it can do today. Um, and, I, and I say pretty successfully because this is probably the best part about my trip. Uh, I'm never, I've never missed this exit. I always merge in and it's always taken me on this S ramp uh, very successfully. It keeps me in the lane. It stays in the lane. Uh, most of the time, I, I just like to watch the car do this part by itself because um, like it, it's, it's got full control of it. It slows down, it speeds up through the S curve. And so to me, this is the most successful uh, navigate on autopilot example out there. And, and plus, I don't ever miss my exit, so that, that's always a plus. So as it enters the freeway, it starts to speed up um, as, as well as signal and enters into the freeway. And it will continue down and then merge to the left as needed. So this stretch here, it's about like a eight mile stretch for me. Um, and it's pretty uneventful because it's pretty smooth all the way through until the last probably mile where it starts to merge over to the right and there's a lot of traffic. And so we'll check that out as it approaches. So I'm letting Tesla do all of the work here and it starts to signal right here and I thought it was going to go behind the truck but it actually speeds up um, because it's 68 and I have my limit set at 70 and the truck is in red and then after it's clear it'll merge to the right and this is where it gets really tricky and this is the first time it's done this for me where I need to get off in half a mile and my exit's coming up and there's a lot of cars to my right side so it's red i can't go i wait i wait i wait and it looks like it's almost clear like it's going to change over 
and then uh, I'm going too fast and it won't go, it won't go, it's red, it won't go, cars are merging in, it won't go, it won't go. So I was like, oh, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make it. And then finally, it looks like everything is finally clear and I barely make my exit right, uh, just really just in time before I, I had to get off. And so to, to me, that was pretty successful. I've, I've never had it wait that long to change lane because I, I don't like to disturb other people. And so uh, it was a successful trip home, zero disengagement all the way home. Um, and here is when I need to take control because the autopilot's, or navigate on autopilot's done. If you don't take control, um, it's gonna start beeping at you like it just did there. So I'm just gonna show you my navigate on autopilot um, options here. I have enable autopilot at the start. I have mild, Mad Max is too crazy for me, you, you just change lane way too often. Uh, navigate, require lane change is turned off. This means I don't have to hit the left lever to do the lane change, I can just wiggle the wheel. So at the end of the day, you still have to give it some sort of confirmation. Uh, off means wiggle the steering wheel, on or yes means you have to hit the lever, and so I, that's how I have it today.